Oh, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> so I found a TMI tag on the internet. That, that was means too much information for um, all the old folk watching. It's a hundred questions long, so we're not gonna do that. So I picked my favorite 15 questions and we're gonna answer those for you. And this video might not even show all of them because Byron has no filter. What? So we're gonna see. I have a filter. It's sepia. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally the funniest person I know. Also, we're at Wendy's because... Mm. I don't know. Why? Why are we at Wendy's? Maybe it's because we're hungry. Not spawn. Obviously. Okay, Brian, you want to pull up those questions for us? Sure, let me pull them up. Alright, there they are. <laughs> 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 They're literally right <laughs> off camera. The, the fucking my phone's propped up right there. Okay, so question number one: What are your biggest turn-ons and turn-offs? Mm. A good turn-on for me is a girl who knows good food. Like a girl who will just go and get food with me. Not literally like this, but like. <laughs> mm. Hi. Hi. No, like. If me and my significant other are matching in like the food that we like to eat, that's awesome. What are your turn on and turn off, <laughs> Selena? You just say your turn off. Oh my god, my turn off? I mean, manipulation, I guess. No, literally. It's just people who, um. I don't know how to phrase it. People who have problems being equal. Yeah. You know, people who will get mad at me for doing something that they can do that I won't get mad at. I want, I think a big turnoff is when we don't, when we don't match like in a level plane, you know? I get that. For me, my biggest turn on is probably having like the, like a really solid sense of humor mm -hmm. because I think when shit gets rough, it's important to be able to laugh. And my biggest turn off is arrogance because I hate, I just can't stand the toxic masculinity, big dick energy shit. But it also, it goes for girls too. If a girl has big dick energy. We just, we like people who are humble here. That's true. At what age did you have your first kiss? I was. Okay, shut the fuck up. Hold the presses. <laughs> Look at this thing. Continue. I was. I think I was like 12 on the cusp of 13. I might have just turned 13. It was the beginning of the school year in eighth grade. That's all I know. Do you have a story behind your first kiss? I do. I was um, with my best friend at 1 a.m. And we were sitting on my trampoline. And we were like, oh my God. We were talking about like first kisses and how we just wanted to get them over with. And mm -hmm. like we were like, do you want kiss? Mm -hmm. They're like, I kind of feel like you want to kiss right now. Are we going to kiss right now? And we did, and it was magical. Is it in your top 10 kisses? Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a super memorable kiss. Dude, same. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, it's except for- a memorable hug, though. A memorable hug? You know that scene in the office where Jim and Pam are like about to get divorced and mm -hmm. he's like about to go to Philly and then he hugs her and he won't let go until she hugs him back because like they're having a fight and whatever. My boyfriend did that to me once right after we fought <gasps> and I like almost started crying. You had a Jim and Pam moment? I did have Jim and Pam moment. Literally, that's all I ever want to achieve in my life. It was really nice. My first kiss was after a football game in my freshman year of high school and we lost because my high school football lost. team never won. We were never winners. No. Um, but we like, everyone like was clearing out and we were like in the little ticket section in front of the football field and we were just having a little chat. And I'm pretty sure music was playing. I think it might've been Maroon 5. Oh, I, I think it that. literally was moves like Jagger, but we're That's over there cool. and we're just dancing with each other and we were like spinning and playing around and shit. And then we kissed because all of our friends were when it was freshman year. They're annoying. They're like, oh my God, kiss, kiss. Yeah. <laughs> it was really, it was really actually really special. Like was it? it was Jackie. Oh, I love 
love her. Yeah, it was like really, it was a really good first kiss. I'm glad that that was my first kiss. What age did you have your first sexual experience? You guys are having sex. <laughs> no, never. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't need to answer. You answer. Um, I mean, my first like sexual experience, I think like 15. My first like time having intercourse. Mm -hmm, the, the P and the V. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 17. Hmm. Took a minute. I think my first sexual experience was probably around 14. But my first. <laughs> I think was 15. So a year later. Okay. What's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now? I don't know. I'd have to look at my Spotify. Right now, I like... I really like Floral and Fading by Pierce the Veil. Mm. Um, All Signed Point to Lauderdale by A Day to Remember. I'm feeling a little emo. A little bit. Um, and then every One Direction song ever. Understood. They just had their anniversary. I'm still in the mood. I think right now my favorite song is probably... Uh, I, mean, I guess it's a mix of a few as well, but um, I really like Lady Hear Me Tonight Because that song is great and I also really like uh, This the two songs Lone Wolf and Club and Them Changes by Thundercat Jesus Christ. I, it's ridiculous how good those songs are Why is that your contact picture for me? <laughs> I just never changed it. Do you hate anyone? No Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck dude Here's the thing. Yeah I wish that I could be like above it. Mm -hmm. I wish that I could be like, I'm so at peace. I just wish the best for everyone. But Not no, sure. there's some people that I want to be like walking down the street and I turn and see that they're like on fire and I'm holding a water bottle in my hand. And as they're burning to death, I look them in the eyes and pour the water bottle on the ground. I wonder if you could get in trouble for that. I am kind of a psychopath. I'm kidding. Hate is such a scary, strong emotion, and so when I do hate anyone, it consumes me. Me too. I, I feel like it doesn't consume me in the sense that like, I can't stop thinking about it, but like there are people that like when someone mentions their name, I like fill with rage. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, fuck that person. To your knowledge, have you ever been cheated on? To my knowledge? No. To my knowledge, no, but I have very strong suspicions. For both my exes. Have you ever had a crush on a teacher? I actually have like a thing for teachers. It's pretty bad. That's so gross. <laughs> okay. What kind of... My number one turn on is if they're a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. The first one was when I was in seventh grade. My best friend's math teacher. I used to walk her to math class so I could see him. And then he became a math teacher at our high school and I was really excited until he was kind of a dick to me at a football game and then I got over it. Um, I think he was like running the snack bar and he was like, what do you want? And I was like, um, and I was trying to make up my mind. And he was like, you need to hurry up because there's a line. And I was like. That's a relationship color. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, and then also <laughs> um, my brother's freshman study hall teacher your brother's freshman study hall teacher not yours he also was like a science teacher at our school okay that's the only sort of relationship i had to him um he was like 22 though so it wasn't that weird because i was like 16. <coughs> <laughs> it's fine oh that weird <laughs> um and then also okay like the the most intense one was my last semester of college, my creative writing professor. I loved like 
You know when you argue with someone but it's kind of flirtatious? Mm -hmm. I used to do that with him like in front of the class. I loved pushing his buttons. All of my creative writing assignments that I turned in were really suggestive and provocative. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even, I mean, he was like decent looking, but it wasn't even just his looks, it was his attitude. He would give in to the stuff that I did. He would give in to you. He was just, he was the kind of teacher you could tell. I'm not gonna say that, never mind. Um, <laughs> okay. I, even if you're watching, what's good? I have a boyfriend but you could have had this. On the day of our final exam, he gave everybody like a sticker and like some people's stickers said like, you're awesome. Or some people's sticker said like, you're so smart. But my sticker said, you're beautiful. Oh, he thinks you're beautiful. I put it on my cat and my cat bit me. Oh. So that's what happened with that sticker. It's a really sad ending to <laughs> <No>. that story. <laughs> and then you guys never even fucked. What's the point of going to high school? It was college. <laughs> you ever had a crush on a teacher? Um, I don't know if I've ever had a crush, but there was definitely this one teacher who I had last semester who was like super my type. And like, I joked with her a lot. I asked her if she wanted to go to Santorini, Greece with me, and she said if she could take her husband. And I literally was like, oh, that's not fun. <laughs> but I was joking. Um,. But no, I don't know if it, if it was like a crush. I just thought she was cute. What's a relationship deal breaker for you? Um, if I don't see, here's my thing. If I get into a relationship with you, it is for the long haul. Yeah. Like if I get into a relationship with you, I'm expecting marriage at the end of this. If I, if we're dating or if we're like going out and like seeing each other or whatever it is, like not a true relationship, then whatever. But if you're not someone who is willing to work with me in terms of like my career, because to me, my, my career is the most important part of my life. Mm -hmm. I want it to be because realistically, my relationships end up being the most important part of my life. And I hate that about myself. So I want my career to be the most important part of my life. And they're not if they're not willing to accept that and work with me and push me to be a better person, as of course I'll push them to be a better person, then it's like not even worth it. Yeah, true. I mean, I actually just recently had this conversation with my boyfriend mm. and we were talking about like our future. And I was like, listen, kids, are 100% negotiable. Dogs are not. Mm. I need somebody who's gonna let me have pets. Unless, they don't have to love animals. Like my dad hates all living things, but he let my mom have a dog. He lets my stepmom have cats. Like as long as I'm allowed to have them, that's all I've ever wanted my entire life was my <coughs> own dog. That's, I'm getting it. And if you don't like it, like if you're gonna make me choose between you and the dog, the dog's oh, yeah. always gonna win. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's the longest you've ever gone without a shower. <laughs> this quarantine <laughs> the whole quarantine yeah the whole thing it's been like four months yeah it's been you know it gets to the point where you smell so bad that your smell neutralizes and then you smell like nothing okay mm -hmm. actually like a week when i was gross and in middle school really when i was in middle school in time i went like eight or nine days like it gets to the point where you don't shower for so long that you're like, I think I'm falling apart. Yeah, but also I was like really depressed in sixth grade. That's when I first experienced depression. <laughs> Fun and introduction. I didn't have motivation to do literally anything, including shower. And it was pretty normal at that point in my life for me to only shower once or twice a week. It was pretty gross. I'm glad that I met you. After sixth grade. After sixth grade. <laughs> have you ever been caught master ma masturbating? Have you ever been caught masturbating? <laughs> yeah, but like I don't think the person knew. It was just my sister, and I have a little drawer of snacks under my bed, and she like came into my room. I guess I forgot to lock the door, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Can I read your snack drawer?" And I was like, "Sure." And I like leave my shirt on and get under the covers when I do it. So I think she just like I don't know. I just kind of like sat there pantsless without her knowing until she got like a bag of chips out of my drawer. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Um, I have, yeah, by some like random family friend. They just walked into my room and they were like, oh, and then they closed the door and I was like, okay, bye. Like, and you know, I didn't even finish. That's the worst part about it. 
I was young, I was in middle school, and like masturbating <laughs> was basically the only thing I knew how to do. Yeah. Ever been caught having sex? Uh, have you? <laughs> I mean, again, my sister, but it was a little different. It was like my high school boyfriend, we were having sex in my room like after school. And I think my sister knew we were having sex and she wanted to see if we were. So she came up to my bedroom, knocked on the door, and I went, What? And she like started laughing. I think she just like. You know, wanted to confirm. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. <laughs> How old was she? At the time, I think she was like 13. That's fine. 13 year olds like to do shit like that. I was caught by uh, my one of my best friends with my high school girlfriend as well. We were doing the dang butt naked. The lights were on. I was head in between her legs. You know. <coughs> And then I just hear like a, a single knock and then the door open and I hear, hey guys, I found a stray dog. Oh, <laughs> and then he closed the door and he goes, oh, I'm really sorry. I just found a stray dog and he was running around outside and I wanted to let you guys know. And then he left huh? and then I finished her off. I did the goddamn job. I was like, no interruption can stop me. We thought it was really funny. He was kind of traumatized because he saw my ass. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Have you ever cheated on anyone? I haven't. No, I haven't cheated on anyone. I'd be really... I think that would, that would take a mental toll on me. Me too. I wouldn't... I would have such a guilty conscience. Have you ever drank or done drugs? I'm high right now. <laughs> I love that. I'm literally... I got into this car... <coughs> and I was pretty smacked. A little better now. I think it's because I'm in the heat and I've eaten food. Um, I mean, yeah, I've, I've been known to go a little wild sometimes. Wow, she gets a little wild. But weed is actually the one drug that I don't do, that everybody does. Oh, sorry, that made it sound like I do every other drug. I don't. <laughs> I do heroin. I do fucking <laughs> cocaine. Like, I mean, any psychedelic, like, sign me up. DMT every other night. Like, I really just love the ego death and, like, the way that, like, I transcend universes and, like, understand everything. But I draw the line at marijuana. <laughs> no, I just don't react well to the THC. Yeah. So. And it sucks because literally, like everyone around me is a pothead so i'd have access to it all the time but well, yeah do. it'd be like that it'd be like that all right and finally final question <laughs> have you ever been arrested i was close once there are a lot of times i should have been but i wasn't yeah there were times that <sighs> one time me and my ex-girlfriend were in a little bit of a bonnie and clyde phase where we like to steal a lot of shit from our local grocery store and like wherever else we went and so we went into this grocery store and we were stealing ingredients to buy a cookie to buy a cookie huh? to make a cookie <laughs> we we're stealing ingredients for cookies and all was going well but then she was like i think there's someone that followed us and i was like there's someone following us who could that be and she was like i think it's the manager and so uh, she was wearing her Heelys, and I was like, all right, get the fuck out of here. And so she heelied off, and I was like, Crystal, throw all the ingredients into a bush. And I just name-dropped her, but it's fine. And so she drops all of the ingredients into this bush, and then the fucking manager and, like, assistant manager, I don't even know who, but a bunch of people come up, and they're like, we know what you were doing. We know that you were stealing. And they started taking pictures of me and shit. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You're weird to assume that. And I was like, I have nothing on me. And they were like, yeah, well, your girl, your girlfriend is real lucky that we're not going to chase her right now. And I was like, okay. And then I had a friend pick up the ingredients and we ate cookies and they were really good. Anyway, we're going to go because it's actually 100 degrees in here. Wait, you didn't answer the question. Yeah, I did. I mean, there were times where I should have been like. Like what? My last car crash, um, I crashed into a tree my brakes failed mm -hmm. i'm convinced that they failed i did not do anything they failed sure um my car just swerved off the road i don't appreciate and i had like bottles of wine in my car and i'm not 21 years of age yet and so i made my sister like she was in the car with me 
<laughs> your her, younger sister. I made her get out and hide the alcohol in a bush. <laughs> you made your younger sister hide the alcohol. That's awesome. Yeah, because the thing is, like, I mean, not that the cops usually search your car during a car accident, but on the off chance they happen to look in and see it, or, like, the car gets towed. I don't know if they look in it when they tow the car, <laughs> so I didn't want them to think that I was drinking, and even if they didn't think that because the bottles were closed, like, you can get charges for like a minor in possession so i was like it's just probably better to to not all right all right well welcome to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment and all of that good stuff mm -hmm. um byron has a youtube channel he doesn't <coughs> use it but i'm um, still gonna link it below and i'll link all of his social medias oh. um Byron is a cinematographer. He's a film mm. student in LA. Yeah. He's finding his way. He's a little fish in a big pond and he's done some really amazing work. I'm okay. I like to write funny things sometimes. I, I write little silly little little stories. I literally look sweaty. Dude, I'm glistening! <laughs> look! <laughs> um, well... You know, like, follow... And we're gonna go we're gonna go like i don't know be not in a hot ass car i'm just gonna turn the air conditioning on and we're probably gonna talk shit about people mm -hmm. about you about you. you paul <laughs> yeah i know you're watching you fucking piece of shit the manager of the grocery store i work in is named paul he's a really nice man oh my god not that paul i love that paul <laughs> you don't know that paul shut the fuck up i love that paul too mm -hmm. okay bye bye paul